I'm not the least bit animated. What's up, Power Director peeps? You know what day it is. It's Saturday. So that means I'm going to show you how to do the map animation effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Google. The Indiana Jones map animation effect uses the paint designer in Power Director to create a travel line showing the progress of a trip on a map. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Indiana Jones map animation effect for your videos. Let's make some moves. First thing that you need is a map of where you want to go. So if you go to Google and you type in maps, the first option is Google Maps. If you left click on that, you pull up a map and you can scroll out all the way until you see the whole earth and you can go to wherever you want basically now i already went to where i want i have a map up right now i'm going to take a little trip from san antonio to new york so once you got your map set up and on the screen all you need to do is go ahead and hit print screen on your keyboard and it copies a image of what you have on your screen so that you can paste it into any program that you want so what you want to do now is bring up the editor of your choice i'm going to bring up a free editor called getpaint.net so i'm going to bring that on the screen now and i'm just going to click in the white space here and i'm going to do Control v and it'll ask me if i want to keep the canvas size or expand the canvas i'm going to go ahead and expand the canvas and it goes ahead and puts the screen into the program now that you have your map set up, you want to save this as its own image so that you can use in Power Director. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to put it where I want, and I'm going to give it a name. And I'll go ahead and click on Save. And I'll click on OK. So now I need to create an image with a mask of the path. That way, when I bring it into Power Director, I can use it to animate the path. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go here to the line tool. And I'm going to select a brush width. And I'm going to select a color. I'm going to use red. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create the path that I want. So I'm going to go to several places on this trip. So now that we're done with this, we want to go ahead and delete all of these to create a mask. So I'm going to pick the magic wand. And I'm going to click on one line and hit delete. And I'm going to keep doing that. And now that I have the pathway now, I want to create dots on here to show each location. And that's why I kind of left a little gap in between the lines so that I could put a dot in here that shows, hey, we hit this new location. So to create those dots, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shapes tool and I'm going to pick an ellipse. And I'm going to pick draw field shape. And my color is going to be red. And I'm just going to place a dot over each one of these locations. And now that we got our path drawn out and we got all of our dots for our locations, we're going to go ahead and save this as a picture as well. So we're going to go to File, Save As. And we'll go ahead and click on Save. And we'll click on OK. 
So now that we got the images that we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and go into Power Director. Now we're in Power Director, and you see that I've already imported the two images that I used into Power Director. The first thing that we want to do is place the original map screenshot onto track one because we want to use that as the background of the shot. So I'm going to drag it down into track one. And I want it to be long, so I'm going to tap on the duration button. And I'm going to change this to 20 seconds and hit enter. And I want to stretch out my timeline here. And now what we need to do is animate the path. So to animate the path, we're going to go to the objects room or the PIP room. And we're going to click on create a hand-drawn paint animation. And you can go ahead and choose the tool that you want. I'm going to use the pen. We got the width of whatever we're using. I'm going to move it up to about 25. Should be good. And I'm going to leave it as red. I want the playback to be 20 seconds long. And I want to create a freeze for the last two seconds of the animation. And you see when I typed two in there, it went ahead and put a little freeze here at the end, which means once it gets to the end, it's going to stay there for about two seconds. So now I can go ahead and create my animation to the places that I went. And once you're done, go ahead and click on OK. And you can give it a name. And click on OK. So at this point, you want to go ahead and place your animation in track two. And I'm going to drag it down to the two second mark. And if it's too long, you can go ahead and hold control and hold your left mouse down and drag it back. And if you play this back, you'll see that you have the path, but it doesn't look snazzy. Don't look beautiful to me. One thing missing. And the thing that's missing is the mask that we created the first time. So now we need to go back to the media room and go ahead and drag the mask layer down to track three. And we want to change the duration on this. Change it to 20 seconds and hit enter. And now if we play this back, we should see a lovely mask animation. All right, that's sexy, real sexy, but it's not Indiana Jones style just yet. There's a few other things that we need to do. In order to get this set up, we want to produce this and create a composite of this effect. So we're going to go to the produce. You can go ahead and select a different type of file or whatever you want to use the location you want to save it to. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this one produce and hit save and then hit start. And now that it's created, I'm going to go back to the edit page. I'm going to remove all of this. Just create a lasso, hold down my left mouse, create a lasso for all of these. Hit the delete button and you'll see that the produced file is right here that we created. So I'm going to left click on it, drag it down into track one. And if I play this once again, you'll see the map animation. To make this really, really cool, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. We're going to follow the path. We're going to make it look really cinematic when we do this. So to get started, we're going to double click on this clip. And at the beginning, 
what we want to do is zoom in to the location of San Antonio because that's where we're starting off. So what we'll do is we will create a scale position here of 1.5 and we'll hit enter. And then we'll go ahead and move this over to we have San Antonio where we want it. I already know what parameters I'm going to use. So I'm just going to type them in. And that looks good there. So I'm going to add a position and a scale keyframe here. And then I'm going to move my playhead to two seconds because that's where I started the animation of the map. So at two seconds, I want to zoom in to San Antonio and then I want the animation to begin. So we're going to go ahead and change the scale to two and hit enter. And once again, you want to move San Antonio closer to the center of the screen. I know what I want to use. And this should create a keyframe here as well. So what will happen now is if I play this, it'll kind of zoom in to San Antonio. All right. Now we want to follow the path. So we're going to move the playhead until the path touches the next location. All right, so now we want to center it here. And we want to just keep doing this until we get to the end. So once we get to the position of New York, we want to go ahead and add another keyframe for the position and scale. And then we want to move it to the end. And we want to scale in on this to about, let's say, 2.5 and hit enter. And then what that does is it should create a quick zoom at the end after it hits New York. So at this point, we can go ahead and hit OK. And now if we play this back, it should zoom in, follow the path, and then zoom in again. Beautiful. All right, we're still not done. I gotta add more flair. I need more flair. And for more flair, I'm gonna add an aircraft to this to give it that Indiana Jones true look because in a movie, it kind of shows the airplane flying while it shows the map going. And so I wanna add this airplane. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the file here. Just right click in the media library, choose import media files. I have an aircraft here. I'm going to click on that and click on open. I'm going to drag the aircraft down to about the one second mark. And it's not long enough to fit the entire scene. So I'm going to left click on it. Hold down on my control key. Place my cursor at the end till I see two arrows. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and drag this out. What it does is it changes the speed, but it makes it last the whole clip. So now I'm good to go with that. Now, it's not facing the right direction. If, I'm, if the path is going to the right, I want the airplane going to the right so it's in sync. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to scroll down until I reach flip. I'm going to click on flip and click left to right. And now it's facing the right direction. And now what I need to do is change the opacity because I can't see my map. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the opacity to 50% so I can see the plane and the map. 
and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. I want to add a fade transition to the beginning and the end of this clip. So I'm going to go to the transition room. And I'm going to add a fade to the beginning. And I'm going to add a fade to the end. Now this airplane clip that I got, I got it from pixabay.com. I'll leave a link in the video description. It does have the sound in here. I'm going to turn off the sound for now, but you could basically add some Indiana Jones type music. You could leave the airplane sound on. You could do whatever you want with that. Uh, but right now let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. Indiana Jones, all up in your bones. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.